I think I'm live. Yep. Hi, this is just a really quick impromptu one. Although I'm looking like a ghost here. I've got to close this back curtain. I don't know why, but with the back curtain open, I go low. There we go. I'm normal again. And then we quickly find a Stephen Hawking coin. Peter Rabbits, that's the buffalo, and Stephen Hawking. Hi Robin, hi everyone. I don't normally display coins per se, hi Paddy and Jen. Uh, I just came across one frame on eBay which I just fell in love with and I just had to have it. Comes with a cleaning polishing cloth. I got move this down so that you can see. A polishing cloth, a couple of things for you to stand on. Please remove protective film from all your items before use. Yeah. Well, this is basically what I've got, which is the frame is all covered. There's three levels, so the coin will go in there and be totally covered so it shouldn't tarnish. And every side of this has been protectively covered. But title Stephen Hawking got a black hole swirl next to it. Ah, uh, Stephen Hawking, Robin, this is the valley going in the middle of this. So there's a black hole swirl, uh, the black hole swirl. Uh, is kind of birth and death, 1942 to 2018. Got one of his equations there in regards to space. But I thought this is a cracking little idea. Olympic one. Yeah, I've, I debated this particular place uh, that I got this one from. Uh, they do all sorts of different ones. But will the coins get toned if I left them display? Well, if you look at that, it's leveled. It's three levels of per perspex, and it's going to be tightened up. I can't imagine the coin will get toned because it's not going to be in contact with the air. Uh, but this one I thought was pretty jazzy and like i say the person i bought the seller i get this from they do a big range of this stuff and they also do the range for all of the beatrix potter coins but not just the ones that have been released they also do one not covering the 13 released ones but they also do one with 40 nulls to cover the entire set including the 2019 peter rabbit you don't get that with many of them uh so I'm gonna have a little play with this, and I thought I would do it on a quick live because why not? So well, I don't know which one do I want to use for this. That one's tight, so this one should be tighter. Uh, that's not bad. Hi, David. Don't get. The tone from the light as well. Well, mine's not going to be in front of a major light source. So, let's get this underneath. I'm quite intrigued to see what this is going to look like once it's done. So, I thought I'd do a quick life. How expensive? It was, they sell them for, I think, about 13, 14 quid plus then about 3.90 postage, but I've noticed from looking at the seller that they have a lot of them. Oh, there we go, it's all going apart. They have a lot of them, and they also list them. And they always seem to go through on the opening bid. I've shut my phone up, and I just take that off. This would be a pain to get off if I wait until the screws are back in place. Get rid of that. Well, right on it. Good. So, off comes our baby. I'll use my polishing cloth towards the end. Yes, yeah, so I, I put the opening bid down on, of 10 quid on this and got it. Uh, I wouldn't buy it uh, as a buy it now because I, I watched for a while and noticed that most of their items go through the opening bid. If, as long as you're aware of what the buy it now prices you can have a have it all play and get it 
adds to the opening bid, or if someone else is bidding against you, you know how far you need to go. Because there's not much point going further than what you can buy straight away for on another part of the site. So I'm going to use my little clock now. Um, boom, boom, boom. I swear by these microfiber cloths. I use these on coins on a regular basis. You get a coin from circulation, which is a little bit tarnished, a little bit manky. All you need to do is give it a bit of a rub with one of these microfiber cloths, and you tend to get rid of nearly all of the mess. So that should go in like that, I believe. Getting this right. There we are. Give it a little bit of dust. I'll just double check there's no layers on here that need coming off. No, there it is on its own, sort of like a mirror format. So there's no internal plaggy there, which is good. So I'll just quickly put the back back on. I don't know whether I should have t really taken this time to take the plastic off the front, but I don't think so. A quick double check. Yeah, there's no nut there. So it, it shouldn't. Oh, I shouldn't have lifted that up, should I? <laughs> More for me. Right, let's pull these back in. Oh, well, then again, it would probably be better getting it off now because there is a lug over there. Anyway, there are things I do wrong. I'll save you having to do wrong if you get one of these yourself. But obviously, without these being screwed in, they just flip out. But I'll give this a nice little polish once I've finished. Just line these back up. And I think what I'll do now lose to one side. Most of them stayed in place. One came out. Oh, I'm messing this up. I sh just should not lift it. What I'll do is I'll just do them one by one. So in that it goes. Slight tighten. Oh, make sure it's right. Yeah. The last thing I want to do is start doing that. Oh, I should have been reading this. There we are. We don't want to win the pot of book like Hannah has last night. One that takes. Oh, 2019 as well. Great. Yeah, I think it's weird that anybody who knows about the coins, who knows that they did the one that they didn't enter circulation. Well, one obviously a thing that holds the lock. It's pretty pointless having them all there. And in the back of your mind, you'll always know the Peter Rabbit 2019 should be in that case with the rest. So, the people selling the, the 13 space ones will sell them to Joe Bloggs, who's picked them up from the change. You really want a 14. If I was going to bother with framing them all, which I'm, I'm not, not the potters, then I would definitely go for the 14 hole one. Right, nearly finished. Then we get to see what this looks like. Like I say, I'm, I'm not one for displaying coins. Even when I get all my Hercules, they're going to be safely in boxes. I know where they are. I can always have escapes when I feel like it, but not on the shelf. But this one is pretty nice, and I like the way the frame was done. Let's see, keep that there for a second. I should just give you some of my fingerprints. How many 50p's do I own? Uh, too many to count, really, I'm afraid. Uh, I mean, 
I, I used I'm, I'm retired from my previous job Robin I used to be a policeman uh, I've got to keep busy to some degree and with my health I can't really hold probably hold down a normal job I wouldn't really want to I must slowly turn to collect it well yeah I think I am one to some degree uh, I like the as you know the American quarters the state and park ones but right. Let's go into the back of this. So there's a bag. Wait for that to get into focus. So you can quite clearly see the reversal of the coin, or the obverse. And this being this, you can now see the Stephen Hawkins incorrect because of the reverse on this camera, which is daft, but this is the front, which is the mirrored side. And there we have the Stephen Hawkins 50p in the middle of the swirl of the black hole which i think is pretty stonking uh i'm going to say it comes complete with two of these little perspex thingy with bobs here which should mean i can do that and there we have it let's turn that up a little bit or maybe not well actually let's move this bloody bubble up shall we that might be better that just flips into there like that just to keep it still it's got a nice gentle tilt back made by that and although i don't display coins per se i think i will make the exception with, with this one although it's hard to get a decent light because it's mirrors reflecting everything else you can see so but i think you get a gist it's only designed to be a very short stream anyway. Uh, I just wanted to have a play around with this and in case anyone else is tempted on any of these types of frames, I thought I'll show you how easy or tricky it was. It wasn't tricky at all. Although, to get the cover off the front with the lugs, it would have been probably a little bit iffy unless I did do it the way I did it. because I wouldn't want to have a little tiny bit of plastic stuck underneath one of the lugs because that would look daft and I would really irritate the hell out of me so I think you do need to take it apart like that uh, what do you think is better or the Westminster Roman depends where you're after like Ron's saying if you're after a, a packaged coin Robin uh, then I would say the Royal Mint if you use something like Top Cashback which I always go on about uh, Top Cashback and Quidco are two kind of sites which reward you for shopping online. They obviously have a, a deal with the manufacturers, the companies like the Royal Mint, Debenhams, Hollister, you know, you, you name it. It's, it's basically on there. Uh, and they give you uh, a percentage back. As Ron's saying, if you're looking just for the coin, like I just opened then, I wouldn't have opened a package coin to stick in there because the package coins cost me a tenner, but these cost £4.50. So I get the I, I buy these in relatively bulk from Westminster, uh, particularly commemoratives like the snowmen and things like that because the value goes up on them. Uh, but the Royal Mint packaged are really nice and they'll, they'll sell them the same price as Westminster. 10 quid for a package 50p but they'll charge you postage on it uh, and you can't get cash back from it if you're buying enough to get free postage from the raw mint shop itself then you can basically get it delivered quicker easier in the proper packaging and you can get in most cases between 8 9 10 11 percent cash back as well which means if you look at a 10 pound coin and you you have got say 11 percent cash back you can take the price down to £8.90, which is far better. I buy most of my uh, packaged ones from direct from the Royal Mint because I can get them cheaper using cash bank. But I buy a load of these. Uh, I have a drawer full of them. Uh, if you're looking at coins which are going to go potentially in value and you want them for resale, like I do because I'm, I'm a trader, then I'll pick them up in quantity. Uh, and I'll build them up bit by bit. I'll sit on them, and as the price goes up and the demand rises, I'll then 
put them out and sell them but for now this was just a very quickie to show off the Stephen Hawking frame which I've now done and here without any reflections <laughs> per se apart from my entire computer there is the Stephen Hawking 50p safe in the middle uh, between three sets of acrylic block it looks nigh on air tight to tighten the screws quite well so hopefully that coin shouldn't tarnish in the slightest and then I have get into focus let's hold still there we are close enough a very nice jazzy display which I quite like I quite rate the Stephen Hawking coin. It's, it's just, a, again, it's a pity that's another, yet another coin which was not put out into circulation. Uh, there's far too many. 2019, they released a lot of uh, commemorative coins, 50 pences. Uh, and they put out, well, we all know what they put out. They, I don't know how many of the 2019 shields they made, but it's probably going to, when they, Give the mintage figures if for 2019 i reckon they probably printed about 50 million if not more of the shields well they could have quite easily if they'd wanted to uh, released five million of one six seven eight million of another they could have released loads of these coins for coin collectors into circulation uh, they didn't have to do 50 odd million of the shields they could have done 10 20 million of the shields and five million or so or ten million of all of the other commemorative ones but they didn't uh because they know that people are gonna buy them uh i think the shield is 20 million uh I, i'm willing to bet you that the 2019 shield is probably over uh 40 million i think it's probably closer to 50 i might even go it might even be higher than that when they print the the shields they normally do them in quite a large quantity Hi, e talk with Poba. Welcome, welcome. Uh, so it's a tricky one. Uh, I just wish that they would have, yeah, one saying 50 mil plus. They're, they are everywhere when you're doing a coin hunt, Robin. Uh, literally, yeah, half half of most bags I go through has got a really shiny 2019 shield in it. Uh, they are everywhere. Uh, I think we're all doing all right. How are you, how are you doing, e talk with Poba? You all right? Having a good day? I don't know whether it's morning or night where you are. We're in the UK and it's 20 past 10 in the morning right now. Yeah. One's concurring, they're everywhere. Yeah, and they, they could have quite easily reduced that number and put out yeah, X amount of million of all of the collectible ones, but they know that all the 50p collectors which exploded in the amount uh after the 2012 olympics came out 29 coins collectible and you know interesting compared to the usuals uh they exploded the collectors loads of people started collecting 50 p's then and then when they realized with the that they had a massive market if they did anything which was relating to kids because kid pressure on parents to buy uh and kid collectors uh getting their parents to buy all of a sudden they then decided to go right down the kids orientated stuff so they went in and continued the Beatrix potters into 17 18 and the one off in 19 one off in 19 to basically trap everybody who's collected the first 13 because that's the last one of the collection and the only way to get it is to buy it but you can't get it in your change and we also then picked out the in between 16 and now we have two christmas snowmen that seems to be a theme we'll probably continue with christmas 50ps that's nice i love that but it would be nice if they put them into circulation uh i'm sure lots of people would like to get a christmas 50p from their change rather than having to pay uh 450 from westminster or 10 quid from uh the Royal mint plus the 2018 snowman the best one him and james flying that one has jumped up in price now yeah dinosaurs have, uh, i'll go into that in a second paddy uh 
they then brought out the Gruffalos, Gruffalo 1 and 2, the Paddington Bears, two in each year. They made far too many of the Paddingtons in silver, thinking they were going to make a killing. They made 60,000 of each of them. Uh, they still have all four in stock because they, they haven't got close to selling these out. And that's even after they've reduced them to half price in various sales over the last year or two. Uh, they bought out Wallace and Gromit. Uh, their everything wishes could be uh, basically targeting uh, a kid collecting audience. And then, yeah, we've got the dinosaurs. Uh, yeah, as Ron says, we think they're going to be circulated. I think they are. I think they're going to take over from uh, the, the Beatrix Potters and the Paddingtons. They need to circulate some things. I'm pretty sure they'll be circulating the 2020 Team GB as well. They should do. Uh, they certainly did the 2816 uh, Rio uh, Team GB coin. That's the one of the going to swim at like that. Uh, I reckon the dinosaurs will come out. Uh, but again, all of our coins have normally been there to commemorate big events. And prior to, well, I suppose Beatrix Potter 150 years was a big event. But that's what first got them on to kids. And then they started looking for any anniversary or any coin or anything which is kid related in order to milk the market. Hence the Paddingtons and the Wallace and Gromits and everything else they could come about and the Gruffalos. Yeah, 20 year anniversary of Wallace and Gromits. So what? <laughs> yeah, there's major events in the world and in the UK history which have not been given the coin. Uh, and yet they do one for the 20-year anniversary of Wallace and Gromit. It is a little bit bizarre. Uh, yeah, the 150 basic Potter, as one saying, is, is a big event. Fit 20 years, so what? Uh, the, the dinosaurs, those are justified because we had some dinosaur bones found in the UK. Well, they found dinosaur bones probably in every country in the world, I think. Uh, Certain countries have had massive finds of really big, important ones and new, new kind of species, and you know, changed the world of the archaeologists and deal with uh, dinosaurs by finding new animals, etc. Uh, California, they've had loads of big finds. Uh, Arizona, Nevada, uh, Brazil, loads and loads of countries. Uh, we've found nothing of really much interest in the UK. Uh, we've been better off doing something about the Jurassic Coast, if you ask me. But back in the 1800s or whatever, the mid 1800s, uh, people dug holes looking for stuff. Uh, and they found some bones, but nothing all that majorly wowy. Uh, but big enough that after time, it was oh, look what we found in the UK <laughs> in like Buckland and counties that don't even exist anymore. So they, they've now, because obviously kids like dinosaurs, decided that these significant finds of a few bones, which were relatively poxy, uh, is significant enough to make a range of 50 pences. It's basically just to milk the market again. Uh, well, I'm saying they should do counties on the tempes, like we've all been saying. Yep, yeah, we certainly say that. USA do. Uh, so every... One in every three is a find. Uh, do I have any more? I do. Here we go. Let's go for not parks. Let's go for the state commemorative quarters. Uh, and I'm not having to go with kids now. Uh, if I ask my kids where Lincolnshire were, and this is my kids are basically grown ups now, but if I ask them where that those countries were, they probably counties. They probably would not have much of a clue. Uh, if I asked them where, yeah, it looks quite good to be on it. Um, there we go, inside. Where Cumbria was, even they probably wouldn't know. But if they had all of the 10 P's and the 10 P's are counties on them, and we had a map of the UK like that. And this is basically what the, the, the states have done. So this will actually allow people to collect the coins just like the A to Zs, but they could do the counties of the U. And they could have books like this, 
and then the kids uh, and adults alike could f find the coins, stick them in their book, and bit by bit, by looking at the book and collecting the coins and sticking them in, they will actually know where the counties are. They'll know which counties border which, and so on and so forth. And who'll make them better prepared for life? Uh, it's a simple, simple thing. I have no idea if we'll do them, but I certainly think we should. Um, America found these were so popular. Oh, God. Lots of these books everywhere now. Uh, they then decided to also celebrate their country even more with a national parks commemorative quarters. This book sealed. Uh, I should pick down the other one. Uh, give me a second. Uh, oh, here we go. This one's open. So it's just the same. It is again letting people know the states and the capitals of the states and all the other bits and pieces. And these are significant kind of places of beauty or of nature or whatever uh, across the US. And those have gone down a storm as well. These are still currently being released. They haven't released them all. Uh, we've got down here that this year they're going to be releasing what points National Park quarters for American Samoa, Connecticut, US Virgin Islands, Vermont, Kansas, and next year, Alabama. Uh, so they've got more planned. And then we'll do them all. Again, things with a week could be doing. I certainly think the A to Z have run their course. I don't think we'll be doing any more. Hi, Marie F. Hi, Angry Brit. Uh, I think that that should be, if they were doing it nicely, uh, and I think they should be, that should be their next move. They should be looking at counties. Uh, they could produce the books, and there would be a massive interest in that. I can see schools being interested in that. All geography kind of classes being interested in that. It would be brilliant. Uh, Marie's saying if I was the UK, then the majority of parks would now have houses built on them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But they could do things like, for us, for Somerset, well, we're sport for choice, really. We've got a lot of moorland. Uh, uh, that's really popular. But we've also got a Royal bath, the Roman baths. We've got... We've got certain things like that. There's always something nice somewhere else. Angry Bits saying definitely no A to Z since 2020. Uh, I never thought there was. Uh, I don't know whether that's how you have that confirmed, but that would be great. Uh, I, uh, we're on all that bush. Cool. You should see what I've dealt with over my career. Uh, we still get our, our crackheads and our homeless and everything else. And I say bath anyway. I don't really bath. So I'm not that bush. I'm still from Yorkshire. Uh, but, yeah, people have argued, saying, oh, they're doing three years worth of A to Zs. They're doing, no, they're doing five years. Mint never said any of that. Uh, the Mint released them. And they released 220,000 in the end of each of the 2018s, but only 1.2 million, I think, of the 2019s, making them considerably rarer. They, they never confirmed they were doing them for any other years. They never said they were. So I have no idea... Uh, why people just made the assumption they'll continue doing them. Uh, they've done them, they were popular, they made a mint. They'll probably think about it and think about something else. They'll also work on the basis of some people who just want to get the A to Z, and they don't care what date's on the back of it. So the monetary kind of profit by selling another range of 2020s individually in the shop and by the books, they'll, they'll work out from the sales that they've made in 2019 whether it's viable, to keep on pushing it. Uh, if they had worked that out, and they would have announced before Christmas, and they would have carried on. Uh, but I reckon that the, the, the sales dropped on 2019 because people already had a full set of A to Z, and the coin hasn't changed, just the date. I have a couple of murderers in the road. because one who did a bit of running, one who hit shotgun under the patio. <laughs> Lovely. Uh, it, that's everywhere. Uh, a lot of people uh, see posh or they see posh houses and they just assume that there's no crime. There's crime everywhere. and Everybody lives close to it. It's just a, it's a, sometimes you just don't see it or have no idea what's going on. I've dealt with people who's been, you know, murders which have been in all walks of life. 
uh, and you, you know safer or more than you know more at risk in most places hi pendulum houses hi from new zealand welcome welcome to from new zealand uh you've had nice weather haven't you we've been battered by a storm i think the bottom of the country australasia managed to miss out on all of that Yeah, Pally and Jen, I, I can I can understand that. I've, I've I've been to really big posh houses where twelve of the bedrooms have been turned into cannabis factories. You know, <laughs> uh, it's it's weird and wonderful. Uh, you, you can't uh, make assumptions. That's where I always um, clear. I've, I've always been. Uh, yeah, I've always been honest with myself that everybody is individual and you can't tell anything by looking at them if you assume they always say that if you, it's a play on words if you break the word assume up and they say if you make if you assume that i was making an ass out of you and me because that's how you would spell the word assume ask you me uh so never assume anything but well, i try not to because it's a, a, a bad decision to make decisions based on just on appearance I remember I, I talked to a, a homeless geezer once and he was 10 times posher than anyone else I've ever met. He had the best vocabulary on him. He had everything. But they do say that everyone's, I think it's like eight steps, I think there is, something like eight steps away from, you know, you being in your house with your, your mortgage and being happy and having your car and everything else. There's only a few things that needs to happen, like you lose your job, the marriage falls apart, and before you know it, uh, anybody in quite quick uh, can end up on rock bottom. So, uh, da, 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 da. Steve, is the football still sealed? Because on your photo, it's not. Hang on, Robin, of course it is. Uh, give me a second. Uh, when you say sealed, it's sealed within the card. It doesn't have the plastic outer wrapper. Is that what you mean? Uh, probably is. Uh, all of the cards I have like this, I don't have in the plastic wrapper. These all came in a plastic wrapper, but obviously whoever gets them when they first received them, oh, this, there we go, would have pulled off the plastic wrapper because we're, the plastic wrapper one you can't read all of the back and everything else so the coins in here are fully sealed just like they would, would be in the chain checker uh incorporated into a piece of plastic inside the cardboard and sealed down like that so all of these are perfectly sealed just not in the outer wrapper but i can rub that because i'm not touching the coin all that is is a bit of plastic keeping the coin safe uh, boom, boom, boom. what else we all know da, da, da. Napier North not far from Gisborne talk about posh and not any coins to show uh, I just did a bit of a fame I was only planning to be on for a few seconds I can't believe I've gone past half an hour already that seems bizarre uh, I just had a little play <sighs> on the display or frame coins but i saw this one on ebay and i just fell in love with it so it's a mirrored frame for stephen hawking triple specs and all you do is open it up and stick the hawking coin in the middle of the black hole swirl at the bottom you got date of birth and well year of birth and death got one of his space equations on the side there and that comes with a couple of little kind of legs for it to stand on and it is pretty gorgeous i love the thing so let's put it back on these little legs back here so that although i don't tend to display coins that one will be displayed yeah it, it is quite neat oh and you've already probably seen these haven't you this is the this was another absolute ripoff I, I fell into for the Royal Mint. You see the bomb, it says I struck this 50p on the 31st of January. So this is the Brexit Day one. 
Uh, all the other ones are in different packaging uh, that they aren't stuck on Brexit Day itself. But in order to get that, you have to book yourself on the tour uh, and strike your own. I booked, and they did them every 15 minutes. They wheeled us in and wheeled us out like cattle. Uh, there's no sitting down at the beginning. There's no video. It's basically from one room. Here is the 73 coin picture. This is when this is hands joining together when we joined the EU. Next room. Here's the 92-93 uh, dual date. This is our presidency. Here's the 97 or 98 one. Uh, here's our presidency again. Uh, here's strike your own. Uh, you can have three, but rather than the tour being about 13 90 or whatever, they charged uh, 25 quid. And rather than the strike your own being six pound 90 like they normally are, they charge 10 quid each. Uh, you got three each, but you couldn't strike three each. You could only strike one because they didn't have time. There's another tour, you know, waiting behind you, sort of thing, because they were cramming us all in so much. So you strike one and they pass you two more, which was struck earlier. Uh, and then you walk out into the exhibition hall and go. Uh, from start to finish was well under 20 minutes uh, for the tour. And it was a money-making exercise. Problem with that is it's so easy to fake the packaging. Oh, I don't know about that. Again, we got all the details again in there, and I stuck the coin. You need to have a fair bit of machinery and computer skills about you in order to be able to create a duplicate of this one. But yeah, the coin is a coin. The coin is not special at all. That is a coin that's going to be put into circulation. That's a coin in every single £10 presentation pack. Uh, there's nothing on the coin to say, this was still on the 31st or anything, which is would have been nice. Or even just a little tiny, tiny little kind of mint mark or something on the side would have been nice. But yeah, the 10 quid per go was for the packaging, not for the coin. Uh, it's the only, only thing of interest there is the packaging, which is, again, a bit of a rip-off. And the actual package 10p, uh, 50p, that's even more disgraceful. Uh, whoever designed it was obviously a staunch remainer because they wrote next to nothing in it there's a picture of someone with a white glove holding one uh, and there's probably more detail on that strike your own than there is on the entire uh, 10 pound posh packaged one uh i don't know marie with those for the tills because they they did make it obvious that they were going to uh, at least three million as soon as possible, and they're, they're, they're on eBay already, up, so they are out and about already. And then a further seven million later, so they've made a, a commitment that there will be 10 million. So that's quite a large mintage, that's more than Jeremy Fisher. You know, that they will be all over the shant in due course. Plus, you'll, you'll have some people who are uh, people who are keen to leave who probably want to keep one as a memento but you've also got half the country who wanted to stay and they probably won't want to keep one look for love the money they've probably been them left right and center so they will be all over the place in due course i would have thought that's why I, although i did buy a package coin when i was there that was mainly so i could do a review of it i'm glad i did because it may have saved some people wasting 10 quid on them uh because like i say it's the the least effort possible has gone into making that that packaging uh yeah you know, i'm not a raw mint designer i don't do packaging but they all put lots of stuff in them normally and for here this is a, a momentous occasion 42 years uh being a member no 47 years being a member of the year and now we're leaving uh they should have put packaging in there with here's the 1973 uh clasped hands of us joining this was when we joined blah 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 blah, blah designed by blah 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 here's the 92 dual date this is actually the various 10 people uh, 50 people into circulation uh, it's not on the list now because it's not currently circulated uh, however uh this is 110 vintage compared to you know whatever for the uh shoe gardens they then could have done the 98 stars and said so this is a game for when we the presidency of the European 
council and then they could have done a picture of this one they could have done a lot more effort uh they did no effort at all it was embarrassing someone's asked to see this one again uh, i don't know the problem is i've got so much reflection but if that goes into focus in a second there we are so you've got a black hole of the Stephen hawking coin and this frame is designed to kind of continue the swirl and make the entire thing a giant black hole with a coin being the centerpiece oh i've got two cats in my garden oh, that's interesting uh the frame i i got for the opening bit of 10 quid and three pound 90 postage uh i don't normally frame things like this but i thought i would on this occasion because i quite liked it and i was went on live in order to open it and do it and show you me doing it but that took about seven or eight minutes and i'm 41 minutes later and i'm still here so <laughs> this is terrible uh what am i doing uh normally get a new coins and we go out but stop going to my personal this one yeah all right uh well i i don't i haven't got around to going to my local post office my decent one in town the small one i use locally that they wouldn't give me a pounds worth of change normally i would have thought but i'm going to see where i can strike a relationship with the one in town but my son's got a very tame post office in bristol who happy to pass him any coins regardless no change card necessary he's just goes in and he keeps on getting full bags of sealed coins uh he's just in the last few weeks he's got a sealed bag of 250 quids worth of the st paul's paddington bear i took five bags of him um he's just got 250 sealed bags of sherlock holmes so although they aren't really low mintage i'll still keep them on hi classical cookie you have a question for me when did you first start collecting coins uh i never really did to be fair uh i'm more of a weeder dealer trader i have a website draglordcoins.com and uh, i started on ebay uh, buying and selling the coins um, one of my sons asked me to sell on ebay his olympic 50p collection he wanted to cash him into towards buying a new bike uh as a result I, I sold them but i did a little bit of research on ebay first to see what they go for and realized i could make a lot more selling them individually for him rather than uh as a as a one set as it were uh he was happy with me i gave him the cash in advance of what i thought i could sell them for he was happy he got more than he expected and i suddenly had a watch of coins listed I then found out that they were disappearing uh and they were, they're selling quite well because i priced them about right which is always what i try and do i always want to be competitive you price them through the roof you ain't going to sell any and that's not the idea but i discovered that i could buy them as auctions uh i could quite often be lucky enough to get them for a better price uh and then i could then sell them as a buy it nows and fix the price uh and i was happy with that and i then started building up stock and cut a long story short I, i'm now swamped in coins and i've got about one and a half thousand olympics i have a big watch i just sold eight uh eight to z 10 piece this morning last night i sold a uh, hercules lemian lion someone used the my website and took advantage of the code i've got working it which works until friday uh, you can use the code wedgwood as wedgwood without an e in the middle so w-e-d-g-w-o-o-d -O -O and uh, if you spend 20 pounds or more from the website you can get 10 percent off if you use it as a coupon code at the end of a voucher someone took advantage of that and bought my hercules lumian lion i had listed and i sold on ebay last night a dual date 50p uh i'll have to release another one soon i do have a bit of stock of those uh and i sold this morning a full set of the marvel superhero uh, peter rabbits which i showed a sticker of i think 
on the last stream I did with Scott and Hannah. 2016 coins. And these are just little kind of decal stickers, which you can just stick over the top of Peter Rabbit. Uh, the most popular individually sold is Captain America and Deadpool, obviously. But Batman and Spider-Man are quite popular as well, and Iron Man. And people also buy the full set. What I do with these coins is that they can buy them individually or as a full set. But if they're buying the full set, the coins I stick them on are these ones. I.e., I'm not just using a coin I pulled out of circulation. The coins they're getting is eight brand spanking new 2016 Peter Rabbits. Which is why the price for the set of all eight is, I think, twenty-seven seventy-five or something like that. I don't sell the stickers, but in general, I'm afraid. Uh, I bought, uh, bought them from uh, eBay. You can find them on eBay if you look at decals. Uh, I have not all that many left, actually. I'm going to have to have a proper look myself. Uh, I know Hannah was trying to find some yesterday. My normal seller that I buy from doesn't seem to be on there right now, which is awkward. That's also I normally order them from. Because I have loads of other stickers as well. Obviously, you can make some relatively plainish coins look pretty spectacular if you use some of the decals. Same goes with good old Jemima as well. I first, well, actually, here we go. Psycho Cat. Everyone hates Psycho Cat, or they should do. But if you put Tom Kitten on like that, he looks quite nice all of a sudden. Uh, whereas in silver, he looks vile. Uh, see you, Robin. That's all right. You have a good day, too. Whoever bought a dual day, which is the usual sign the code, yeah, probably. Uh, well, that's the thing, I haven't really advertised my site, I uh, haven't had the opportunity or time or <laughs> really known how to do it. I, it's basically by word of mouth, plus, whenever I send something back on eBay, I, I send me something like the kind of compliment slip I give them. As my website splashed all over it now, so I'm also picking up people who are buying for me from eBay on a regular basis and now dipping their toes into my website. So, my sales are getting to fluctuate and go up a little bit there, which is quite nice. Completely alphabetical for 2018 and 19, got a fair few leftover spares, but that's so well, keep an hold of them. Yeah, definitely. Uh, let me have a quick look. I'm going to go onto a different page right now. So. I won't be able to see the stream, but that doesn't make much difference with me. I'm just going to give you an idea on what the alphabets are worth, in my opinion. Uh, and everyone has their own opinion. But my alphabets I sell without any form of postage. Uh, I send them second class unless they're four coins or more automatically upgrade that then to record a delivery more for my peace of mind. I don't want people saying they don't have, didn't have them and me having to refund them simply because I didn't do a recorded delivery on them. So here we go. So this is my 2018s. I've got a box of 2019s, but I haven't got any currently listed. I'm still building them up. But Greenwich Mean Time, I sell for free, 25 each. Uh, Worldwide Web, three quid. English Breakfast, the E, 450. Union Jack, 395. Uh, let me scroll down to some of the more popular ones that sell a lot. Loch Ness, 475. Cricket, 350. Jubilee, 375. Ice Cream, 450. Robin, I sold a pair of Robins today. Uh, 475 Stonehenge 499 a big seller James Bond 495 so just one coin 495 double decker 395 
the biggest seller of them all, and I've sold loads of them. Uh, on this list and alone, I've sold 42 of them. Uh, Angel of the North, 599 now. That price has been changed and edged up bit by bit because the, the demand is so high for them. Uh, NHS, 495. So it sounds really expensive, and it sounds like I'm charging an arm and a leg, but I'm, I'm basically charging market price for them. But again, if you're after those A to Zs, I have the full A to Z sets on, uh, you know, all of the, the full range of 2018 A to Z on my website. And again, you can use the code Wedgwood to get 10% 10, 10 off if you're spending 20 quid. Uh, and the prices on my website are cheaper because obviously I'm not paying eBay fees. I'm still paying PayPal fees. Uh, and I still have to pay for the the website kind of shop but as far as i'm concerned i'm not going to charge the same as ebay because in that case why the hell am i bothering with a website so they've gone down uh a is my favorite i've been silver got, got three cats in my garden now it's all my garden all of a sudden uh four of them in silver is going to try for the full set uh, I bought two of the bonds straight away when they came out, Ron. Uh, I wish I hadn't because I could have gone them for a lot cheaper down the line because they reduced them off and on uh, because they haven't sold them, have they? So, but I thought the bond would potentially be of one of the highest interest to people simply because it's gorgeous. But a fair bit of money you pay for that. Get into focus. This light is still killing me. Let's dump this down more. Boom, 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 boom. There we are. James Bond 007. He comes in his own acrylic block. That's quite nice. There's two codes working on the mind at one time, 16 quid each for the silver letters. Yeah, I, I don't know how much I paid. I think I paid a lot more than that. I think they're asking something like 45 quid when they first came out or something like that. But yeah, it comes in this little critic block. Uh, and I, I considered out of all of the letters, I thought the, the bond would be the most sought after. So I picked up a couple thinking there may be a, a rush of purchases, but I, I'm pretty sure all 26 of the silvers are still available. Again, they made probably too many of them, thinking they were going to sell, 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 and they didn't. Penguins in there. I have all these on the eBay as well. Penguin sets. Uh, gorgeous little things. I do like my penguins. Well, let's catch it with feed. Uh, in the block, truck of each in there. That's good. <laughs> yeah, I pay well over the odds on myself. Well, hello. Oh, you're the silent type. Hello. Ooh. Silent and mysterious. I'm not going to get a beep saying the, the other caller is gone. Yeah. You're the person that's clear. Uh, hate these blooming calls. Just send a box. 15 grand. Yeah, they probably did make 15,000 of each. They certainly didn't sell them. They probably thought everyone would be getting their initials and all the, and they'll sell like hotcakes. But in reality, they're overpriced for the weight of the silver and the little acrylic block. Nothing special at all, are they? So, uh, it is what it is. Uh, the alphabet tens wasn't advertised well they don't know you, they exist sadly uh yeah there is a few people trying to sell the entire set of the alphabet 10 p in silver but uh it's well it's the resale just isn't there the, the, the market isn't there people aren't all falling over themselves for them it's not like say the queen ounce coin or the Gibraltar Hercules, but they aren't suddenly going up, they've gone down, if anything. Steve, you remember that coin? I sent you a picture of a WhatsApp, and you said it's common. The bloke 
give me the pattern and they said there's only 25 in circulation still one stranger for it what coin was that paddy and jay there's only 25 of a coin in circulation and it's worth more than 300 full stop but if, if i said it was a common coin and it was a common coin uh but anyone can ask what they want and anyone seems to think they know what they want if you look on ebay now you do a search for dual date and you go into finishing first i think one of the ones that pops up first is a, a bid for 30 pounds uh, for a dual date 50 pence well if you look at the pictures it's, it's quite clear it says underneath the green head copy it's just a fake coin it's a counterfeit coin uh, it's not advertised as being a counterfeit or a space filler or you know souvenir or whatever they want to name them it's basically counterfeit they all are uh, but it's advertised in such a way that somebody who doesn't know all that much is just suddenly bought it oh the queen silver jubilee <laughs> yeah no they, they made tens well hundreds and hundreds of thousands of those coins i was a kid in the 70s we all got one uh even the silver ones of the silver jubilee coin uh are common uh certainly not worth 300 quid yeah yeah the market finds its own price that's why i don't put high minimum bid on ebay sales exactly uh i i don't do many auctions on ebay i do buy it now it's just, I work out what the market price is and I hit uh, towards the, the bottom end of that because if you hidden the top end or the middle end and there's loads of sellers, you ain't going to sell anything and that's not what the idea. So you want to be competitive, so you work it down. Ah, Ron, yeah, no, you've got to be really careful now. Oh, sold something else. What's that? A to Z, funny enough. Uh, Although confused by the price, that must be an alpha, that must be Angel of the North again. Yeah, Angel of the North, five ninety nine. So there you go. It goes to show that that's the price the market is for those. Uh, they disappear. Uh, the completer medals, Ron. They are a massive wadge of them all over the eBay now, which are counterfeits. Uh, that's one of the easier ones for people to, to forge because it's not a proper coin. It's just a a kind of commemorative medley thing so there's nothing all that special in regards to the, the minting on it uh, it's not that well defined or tricky design and um, they're all over the place but the ones that are all over the place are loose ones uh, so if you got it even if it's been stuck in one of the, the collector's holders and things like that uh, it could still be a fake the only way i would buy a completed medal now is if i brought it in the actual packaging like the like these ones you get the completed medal if it's stuck in one of these cards with the holograms and all that i'll be happy as a room with coin if it's any loose coin at all i wouldn't touch it with a barge pole now in back in the day you could because there weren't any about but now that they're all over the place when the hercules are all said and done maybe i'll swap them for a completed medal if i have a spare well, you probably get a completed metal cheaper than that. Uh, yeah, the angry bit saying is in China showing all the fake cues. Uh, there's there's fake you name it snucking about now, but some of them are obvious. Some of them are just really poor quality, and some of them, like I say, will actually have the word copy on them. So they're obviously concerns to some degree but it's small and is hidden and the person selling it ain't necessarily going to show you that picture if it's just showing you the front of a coin it's probably because the back says copy uh, and they don't want to put off conning somebody of their money but this is a dual date but but look at it it looks like a sheriff's badge it is ridiculous quality it is looks more like plastic than metal I was given this by Ian on our first min trip. He had a handful of them, we gave them to everybody. Uh, you can see how ridiculous that is. If anybody pays money for one of those, 
I, I hate to say but they deserve to be ripped off because that looks like a bit of money for your toy till when you're a kid it is ridiculous plus it's like rounded and it's it's it, it is just nothing like a real coin it is ridiculous but people are being conned into buying them uh or people are showing pictures of a real one and then sending a dodgy one that's why some people buy of me and use my website because they know if they're going to get buy from dragonlordcoins.com they're going to be getting a real mccoy Not like i've got q on there right now guaranteed to be the real mccoy the dual date undated 20p uh, all of that sort of stuff but don't be scared of buying from ebay because if what you get isn't what you ordered then you pay through paypal which is the only way you should deal with ebay you'll always go through paypal even if your paypal account is empty you pay through paypal it'll use your, your backup payment method i.e your card uh, and as a result of that your paypal protected plus ebay you can just put down item received not as described i.e i received a, a forgery not the real mccoy uh they'll freeze the money on the person's account and if they don't be, pay you back then uh after x amount of days about 10 days or whatever ebay can be asked to step in and they'll find in your favor and you get refunded and even if all that falls apart you then still have paypal protection as the backup uh paypal is yet again another way of getting your dosh back uh so if you buy from ebay and you aren't getting what you pay for or you're getting a fake just raise a dispute and that's it uh most of my products i buy from from ebay and uh, yeah i've had people send me rubbish on occasion uh i've never lost a penny as a result though uh it's the way you do it uh so yeah ebay's fine but private web sellers uh are probably better but in the same respect you don't then have the same disputes or things if you're buying it from an individual seller so if someone buys something from me they, they can't suddenly whinge to uh paypal uh ebay about it because i haven't sold it through ebay if it's gone from my website but if they've gone through paypal they, they can still deal with it but in reality you deal with who you trust uh, people are beginning to hopefully trust me they know i'm never going to rip anyone off so that's that uh do you sell coins in a warming pack yeah do robin if you if they aren't loose coins or putting collectors holders or change checker coins uh, i have lots of categories the easiest way to navigate my website is to use the categories uh one of the categories is warming packaged and that will then show you the, the picture of it being in the full warming packaging and sealed. I, I, I sell warming packaged coins. I have a, a fair, fair watch of them. But again, because they cost more to buy in the, to start off with, they normally cost more. Uh, how much is your queue? Uh, 15999. But using the 10% off and I'll take off 16 quid from it so less than that uh, and that is a real McCoy uh, again when I put a queue on uh, I always guarantee its authenticity and I always photograph it on a scale uh, if anyone is looking to have a little bit of then these are quite good these are cheap and cheerful you can get these from amazon or ebay or whatever but relatively cheap and cheerful and you're looking for the magical eight grams these have a, a variance about them obviously they aren't going to be spot on but if it's just under or just over eight grams then you should be happy with the coin and that is actually saying believe it or not <laughs> exactly hang on there we go eight grams uh, that is that is a queue uh, that's one of my cues we don't currently have listed got a slight bit of marking along there on the inside it looks a little bit like a stain uh but i'm not going to get a little scrubbing brush to it whoever buys it can if they wish but 
this will be listed in due course, but this is a another real McCoy Q. And if you go on new scales, you can always confirm. And again, with the Q here, you should be looking at the, the P in pence. The point of the neck of the queen should be there it is you can see directly on the p of pence if it's pointed anywhere but at the p it's a fake oh so, well, yeah it's oh well, there you go 8.01 it might be 7.98 you know, and that sort of thing but it should be around the eight grams because that's how much 50p weighs but of course with dirt on it may weigh slightly less with a bit of rub may weigh slightly less uh, dirt slightly more, rub and tarnish slightly less, and so on and so forth. But if you get really posh scales, then they're easily spot on. But yeah, Ron's just saying that if you, fakes are easy to tell, they are. If you've seen a real real one at any stage, you you can see a fake one in seconds. Uh, I found a fake one on Q and Paul and now he's gone. Well, well done to you. Uh, I've found so many fake ones. I've given up actually reporting them uh, to eBay because eBay tend to do nothing. But not that they aren't doing anything. It's just that uh, they probably have so many uh, messages in regards to counterfeit goods that by the time they get around to it, the item is normally always sold, uh, which is as irritating as hell, in my opinion, but just the way of the world. Uh, I, I like people to be certain that they're getting what they're getting. Uh, and that's why I'll also, also say if you're buying from someone, although you do have PayPal protection and eBay's dispute protections and things like that, look at look at their feedback. If you're going to be forking out some dosh on a coin, uh, look at their other items for sale. If all they're selling is socks and hats and all of a sudden they've got 12 Q Gardens on there, then they've probably got a handful of fakes. Uh if they've got a big long list and they've got really good feedback and they, they seem to be a respectable coin seller, then you feel a lot more confident. And look at their feedback in regards to whether it's positive or any negatives. And if there's some negatives, have a look at what those are. You can just click on the negatives and it'll bring those up. If it's saying, sold me a fake queue, happy days, you know, just steer clear straight away. Uh, so, yeah, it's it's... Finding sellers, and if you find a seller which you're happy with, you know the stock, and you you've got good service from them. Uh, when before you kind of leave feedback and remove it from citing your your purchased items uh, area, you can always just go on to save seller, and then you can go onto your save seller list and click on them and see their goods again without having to hunt around. Uh, I do that for a lot of people that I buy stuff from on a regular basis all in my safe seller list uh hopefully i'm in a lot of people's safe seller list as well but i don't know but it is what it is what else we got on there can't find the olympic royal mint pack on your web uh yeah i, I don't have a olympic royal mint pack uh on my web robin i don't have any olympic coins packaged uh in sealed royal mint packaging the only ones in the well you know packaged coins are the ones which are fully brand new sealed coins uh i have a few which are like on the cardboard but not in the outer plastic but that's that um ron saying i might not have the wrestling in stock how dare you uh i have all of the olympics and all the a to z in stock on my website uh but these are circulated coins. They aren't brand spankies. I have a big wadge of things like, well, actually, do we rest in this one? Yeah, we do. So this is more of what my stock is like. So I have containers. You can see that list there. That's all wrestling. Uh, Team GB Rio, wheelchair, weightlifting, judos tennis archery uh, this is just one of my kind of duplicates boxes i have duplicate boxes all over the place uh but the coins i sell from my on there quite clearly say that they are circulated although i always try and get the best of and i have believe it or not a big selection of olympic coins 
which aren't in any of these boxes. And they aren't in my first bag of coins to be added to the listings in due course. Olympics. And, whoa! Just chuck my camera off the top. Don't want to do that. It's on my light. Oh. I have a big wadge of them, which I found in, or I bought from people, or I found in coin hunts and that, which I don't consider to be good enough quality to sell. Uh, if it's minging, I, I won't sell it. Oh, if you want the rest on the card, uh, I don't have it on the site. I do have have it. I only, I think the carded ones, I've, the only one I stuck on there, I think I stuck on football. I do have a wadge of other ones which I've accumulated, including, well, I've got two wrestlings there, two salients, two gobbles. Triathlon, Judo, Athletics, Canoeing, Bokia, Volleyball and Tennis. Uh, right. Uh, we want to wrestle on cards, Steve. Robin, if you have to wrestle on card like this one, I can stick one on. Well, I can stick one on now, basically. All I need to do, because obviously I don't do this to make a loss. I do this to make a reasonable but not excessive profit for my time, effort and the costs involved. Uh, I'll need to have a quick look on eBay, price it up. And like I say, I always go towards the bottom, uh, not the highest range of what these a list of that uh, or recently sold out and then i'll whack it up on my website no problem uh swapped the card of triathlon for a sick football the other day kind of regret it uh yeah i would have kept the card of triathlon the triathlon and the football they're now on the same price give or take a quid and having a cardy one just for a, a used football doesn't sound like the best deal, Ron. You're normally a lot better than this. Oh, you agreed, so you can back out. Yeah, I understand it now. Uh, so, would I, Ron? I saw the football's always over 12. Yeah, look, football's quite often go for a lot more than that. Uh, it's weird. I, I don't like getting into the all-over-the-place kind of range that you find with some coins when they go on auction mode so down there i've got a wood of triathlons three footballs there judo and a couple of wrestlings i have a separate little bag for the, the higher tier ones uh the footballs i sell for 17 75 i think on my ebay uh but that is mainly and i make it clear on the listing that all of these four the wrestling judo football and triathlon i charge a slightly bit more than I would like to because I only ever send them recorded delivery. Hi, Matt, Coins of More UK. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If anyone on here isn't already uh, sub to Coins of More UK, uh, that's Matt, top geezer, does some really good videos. I'm currently sponsoring him in regards to uh, his coin kind of channel area, and he does some great giveaways as well. Uh, certainly well worth jumping onto his channel. He's got couple of thousand uh, subscribers got some really popular videos particularly the john lewis christmas ones and some disney ones like that as well but there's a lot of work on coins now so certainly worth subscribing to uh right what's the worst trade uh, da, da, da. paid 11 quid for the cardi triathlon oh that's not bad yeah oh you have the full card is set nice I, I pick them up bit by bit if the price is right. Uh, I haven't gone all out to try and get hold of the full set. And like I say, the football one, I, I whacked on my, my website anyway. Uh, I just never go around to time or inclination to do the rest. There's, I have so much stuff, so little of it is uh, whacked out on the internet. Uh, so many streams always catch up. Oh, that's cool. I think we're all fine, Matt. Best source you can do right now is 2018 Alpha Best for 2019. 
Yeah, the 2018s I have a lot of, and that's why I sell them on mass as it were. I have the, the full listings on my eBay and also on my, my website. But when it gets to 2019 coins, uh, this is all that I have, apart from a few full sets that I picked up from elsewhere. I think that's a full set in there. But I have accumulated this lot uh, since the coins came out. So that's a full bag of double decker buses. Every single one. So these are all 2019s, and that's 50 letter D. I don't think I have quantity to make a full alphabet in here yet. This is a hell of a lot of letter X. I think that's another 50. And these are X's. Uh, uh, what do you... G's for geography. Union Jacks. Not that many. B for victory. Uh, uh, oh, this is an interesting pullback. This has got a mixture in. I can see T in there. Uh, I can see Q. I can see an N. I can see an O. Uh, yeah, various ones in there. So that looks like a good little mixture. Another full bag here. That's got O for um, post office. Uh, some of them are always just all the same bags, some of them are a bit more diverse. Uh, I've already seen the back of most of these now. Can't work them out. Uh, mainly post office and those. O O's and P's mainly, I think. That's another big wadge of P's. Houses of Parliament, probably only about a dozen here of huh, double decker, but I've just got a full bag of 50 double deckers. More O's, M's, not many, but K's, Worldwide Web, oh, only four in here, J. Just seem to be all over the place. Uh, some smallish ones that might be a full set, but I've got a wadge of eyes there, so probably not. There's, I didn't even bother taking them out of the packaging, couldn't be bothered. HQ and two eyes 2019s, more loose ones there. T's, H's, I's, X's, E's, Z's, L's, F's. Uh, just like I say, a mixture, and I have full sets which I'll probably break down as well. Uh, are the mintage figures for 19 coming out in October again? Yeah, I would have thought so. I can't imagine they'll do many earlier. Uh, Steve, the Olympic next to you, how expensive is it if I want to buy it? We're talking about the wrestling one, I, I don't know. Uh, Robin, Ron said that you're interested in getting it carded. I'm going to. Have a quick look, find out the price for it, and then I'll add it to the website. So it's, once I finish this bit of streaming, I'll, I'll whack it on the website. So as soon as I find out the price, it'll be up there, you'll be able to see. 2019. Uh, so again, these will be broken up because you can buy the sets, or you could buy the sets. I think you still can. Although most of the letters are out of stock, other wall mint. I think you can still use other wall mint. Uh, you can still buy the, the full sets of the loose coins like this, uh, which is great because you'd be paying two pound a coin. And in reality, once you hit your website, if you're doing what I'm doing and you're selling them on, uh, as for people to fill, fill their collections and all that, I don't sell a single coin for two quid. Uh, and the 19s are going to be considerably rarer than 
the 18s because they make what 5.2 million of the 18s then they announced them to 20,000 of each so he went from two hundred thousand per coin to 220,000 per coin uh and yeah we're looking at i think 1.2 million for the 2019s and they haven't announced any additional ones there they will of course have more because people have been buying them uh, packaged or whatever and from the shop and in, in sets and all the other bits and pieces and those probably do not count in their figures 88 and a half thousand give or take for 2019 yeah low as heck isn't it so yeah they're, they're gonna go up in value con considerably so yeah if, if you're looking to invest i would suggest you if you can find them you get them uh my double deck is i think i paid 67 quid for that bag of 50. uh a mixed bag i paid around a 70 yard mark i had a look at another set that i was looking at yesterday which was 50 l's they weren't still in a sealed bag but it was 50 of the letter l uh the price was about 68 quid i was happy to pay 875 i think for it thinking that that's still a lovely markup hi hannah uh we're just waffling about coins uh i waited and waited got to the last four seconds pressed my bid uh and i was massively out someone that uh, like four of the people were waiting till the five, last five seconds as well and i think these went for over 80 i think maybe 90 yeah i think 91 quid i think uh which is still less than two quid a coin so i probably should have paid more but i didn't so i missed out on it Robin, if you really want to buy it, it will be on there. But like I say, my prices may not be the cheapest. Uh, so you don't feel pressure to, to get it from me. I will be looking and I'll be putting it up for what I consider to be a competitive price. But there's other sellers about. Uh, might only be two full sets and the, the B and C for the others. It could be four sets and them coins for six sets <laughs> yeah memory's a bit like mine and one oh yeah people talking about a book for potters uh where's my book for potters there was some stuff yesterday and as a result i cannot find anything i'm after which is always a way with me i had the book yesterday <sighs> Hell have I done with it? Bish, bish, bish. Mm. Irritating. Now we'll look. Oh, they're not there. Uh, no, it looks like he's gone walk about. Yeah, I got the. Oh, it was really helpful. I found it then, but I hadn't. I got a little 2016 book, uh, and I'm, I'm going to whack on the decals like Hannah's done, and I'll whack that one up on eBay, I think. But obviously, I've, I've, I got that from Scott, and I've added into the Jemima Puddle Duck. But it was pretty. Okay, well, we noted that, but yeah, I'll, 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 be, I'll be competitive. I won't be, you know. <laughs> and for dealing with people in the future, it's probably best not to say things like that. It's okay if it's pricey because it's my last chance. Uh, uh, yeah, don't say things like that because people will try and rip you off. All right, there's some nasty people in the world. I won't. Uh, right, the, the 2016 to 2019 one for age 50. Oh, that's cool. That's a good book then. It was including the space for the 2019. That was a good price for the full set of decals. No, it's diff difficult. Uh, I may well myself have a full set of the decals, uh, which I bought bit by bit. I don't know. I'll have, I'll have a skate screw if I do. I can probably knock them out with people just after the full set rather than buying 20 of the same uh, animal, etc. etc. 
Right, I'm off to disappear because I've been on for nearly an hour and a half. I only came on to show you the <laughs> Stephen Hawking frame, uh, which is behind me. Bish bash bosh, which is gorgeous. She's gonna take a private place somewhere in my lounge. Although the kids will go nuts because they hate me with my coins. So having anything coin related in the lounge, I think that's bang out of order. Da, da, da. Nah, you should be fine, Robin. All right. Uh, right. Let's do one, one, one. Da, da, da. Cambridge coins on eBay. Yeah, Cambridge, I think it's Cambridge that do one of the books that I rely on a lot. Oh, no, that's Andrew's coins. I say Andrew's coins produce this one you can find on eBay, which is a really useful guide. And hopefully they might have an updated one now for 2019, uh, 2020 small concise and it's perfect if you just didn't like scott into your 50ps as opposed to everything else uh you need to send me the link for the hawking stick yeah i will do that hannah i'll, I'll dig it out and email you click seriously base search me to get bargains i always have a kind of running towards ending soon this is not really the best way to get bargains actually uh, the best way is to, like, well, if you spell Jemima with a G, like some people do, uh, no one else is going to find it when they're typing in Jemima with a J. Uh, so things like that, misspellings and things like that, perfect. Plus, if they, if you're going on to 50p's, 50p's, coins, coins, it's, it's then only showing you the ones that have been listed under the coin format. And not everyone breaks it down into the what it is, i.e. coins, Queen Elizabeth, blah, blah, blah some just don't bother uh so i always do the search to cover everything uh plus if you're looking for a coin which is going up in value and is flying off the shelves quickly uh yes you want to look at a to z you know a to, you know cheapest lowest including postage uh but you, also a really good one is if you do newly listed if you've already gone through and you know the price of the coin you know that they're going for say uh, 80 quid and you can't get it any cheaper than 80 quid and there's you, know, you can buy it now at 85 but you can potentially get it around the 80 on an auction price for example uh if you know that you've already done the research looking for the coin once you do a search on that coin title a really good one to look at rather than doing it ending soonest or lowest price is newly listed because the newly listed ones is going to show you the ones that have just come up and sometimes you find a newly listed one, which is really low, which will go really quick. But if you do newly listed, you'll be able to see the ones that have just been listed in, you know, in the last five minutes or the last hour. And sometimes you can just jump on. Uh, Steve sent someone your way yesterday with 2018 10 piece. Thank you, Hannah. Much appreciated. Uh, so, yeah, I, I quite often do that. Um, yeah, four seconds. I always do the last four seconds, don't know why. But yeah, I, I remember I was looking for, I can't think what coin it was now. I think it was one of the Gibraltar cannons, uh, two pound coins. And I always have a little search on those. There's not all that many knocking around. I recently, actually, I saw one last week. Uh, they go for around 45 quid thereabouts. Uh, but you can quite often buy them on auction for less than that. And then you just whack them up but i was looking at cannons and i then went on to newly listed and i one that came up which literally had been listed uh probably within the last five minutes and it's buy it now 25 quid well you can't buy these for 25 quid it was free postage as well i clicked it and bought it and uh if i waited half an hour or an hour or didn't scroll all the way down to the last listing to see that, that one that had just popped up. There's no way on God's earth I'd have been able to get that for 25 quid. So if you are aware and you know the price of the coin, you know the price you should be paying, etc., etc., etc. Sometimes looking at the the coin when you're doing a search and then flick it onto newly listed, you can see something which has just popped up. And if something's just popped up which is well below the market, you can jump on it. Uh, that's quite nice. Uh, I'm going to get all my sovereigns off eBay. 
well yeah again you, you know the price of a sovereign you know what they go for you know the value of it uh i i buy everything at auction uh predominantly from ebay and i sell it by it now uh yesterday i could have potentially got that bag of uh 50 2019 loch ness for the price he was going for which is about 67 quid unfortunately there's about three or four people like me all looking at it at the same time and bidding at the same time which is why i went to about 90 instead but on another day i might have got that for the next bid up and took it away for 68 or 69 quid uh i'll look like that and then i'll just stack it across that's where all these bags have come from um, don't keep scouring else the wind will change make your face stay like that Ron, you gotta be nice to the lady that's terrible hi sue oh there you go sue's coming to hannah's rescue right i'm thinking it's not just because sue and hannah's here because that would be rude for me to disappear just because of that i'm disappearing because i've been on for an hour and a half and i only meant to be on for about 10 minutes that is bizarre i don't know where the time has gone i'm just looking uh because i could so there we go just I haven't got many people whacked up as moderators. I've got, and I normally use StreamYard, which takes away my opportunity to do it. So I just added Matt as a mod. Oh, CGF Coins. Hi, all. I didn't spot that message there. I'm just scrolling up now to see things. Classical cookies. See that. Uh, da, da, da. I probably engendered a hunt the other day. Must have in someone's collection 10 olympics two suffragettes five nhs two puddle ducks 15 scouts wow uh, no q gardens you don't need your q gardens you've got 10 olympics and two puddle ducks that's brilliant i'd be well chuffed with that uh right dun, 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 dun. we've had visitors from new zealand which is nice classical cookies i think you uh usa i think he talked with over philippines so it's been a bit of an international feel off and on as well which is quite nice uh soon i'm shooting off soon got to hoover the house and change the beds ah oh, bless your cotton socks come on hoover mine if you want no i enjoy hoovering too much i'm sad you can tell you're really old and sad when you get excited about ordering a new hoover uh, i ordered myself a, a cordless one um i was going to go for the dyson but then i heard really good things about the uh the blade well i can't think what make it is now uh but it's, it's i love it when you've got a cordless hoover you suddenly realize how hoovering can be done really quickly easily without all the stress and grief uh, and i love it steve have you really got much on going on today just stay on i can't just stay on uh I do have, I've got to go and check in on my mum and stuff. Pick up a prescription. Uh, is it possible to hold on to the rest of them, maybe? Robin, I'll, I'll listen up now. Like, like I say, there's not that much traffic on my website right now because I, I haven't had it advertised per se. There's only really people in the stream who, who are aware of it or anyone who's been watching my, my YouTube channel. So I don't, the majority of all of them, my sales that still go through my ebay uh listings because i've got several hundred of those and i've been on there for a long time i'm coming close to hitting my my ten thousand i think uh feedback uh, the, 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 yeah look, i love mine the new frontier i can hoover the entire house in the space of about five six minutes it just flies and it's got like a rotating head on the bomb as well and the little light of the thing and it it is brill i love it so yeah no bending no hurting my back messing around playing around with plugs or messing around with cables it is gorgeous it's changed changed the world <laughs> yeah it's got headlights it does it's got a green headlight i love it uh right hour 34 thank you for being with me people uh looks like most people have disappeared now anyway 
We're down to about four or three. There you go. Because I said thanks to someone else who's disappeared. So the last few remaining that you're there, I will say thank you for joining me. And I'll see you on the flip side and see you anon. Bye for now, peeps. Right, let's end.